Hello to all, welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, I'm going to tell you about how we can interpolate the groundwater level data. So, um, we have the data into the CSV format uh, in which we have a station name. Uh, these are the groundwater level data, that means uh, the level of groundwater below the uh, ground. So, of uh, 594 stations in Rajasthan, and we have a latitude and longitude. And we have a data for May 2018, August 2018, and January 2019. So we are going to prepare a map with this data. And for that purpose, I have opened my QGIS and already uh, uh, I've set up the Indian state shape file. So how to open the CSV file? I'm going to go to layer, add layer, add delimited text layer. So this is my comma separated file. So I know that is a CSV format, so I will click over this. Next thing is the geometry definition. So I know that um, my data set contain latitude and longitude. So in the X field, I will give longitude. And in the Y field, I will give latitude. And I have to make sure that the geometry CRS should be EPSG43 WGS84. If you are not finding any of this EPGS4326, uh, just need to click on select CRS and search here for 4326. Here you will get one and click apply. And now you can see that uh, all of your data has been displayed over this table. And we'll click add. Okay. Now the point data set has been added and uh, we can see that these are all the points are under the Rajasthan state boundary. So first of all, I'm going to extract this uh, Rajasthan state boundary. Uh, I will select this Indian state. Uh, select particular feature that means this particular uh, state boundary. And I will extract this file. I will use the command. Extract selected feature. Input layer will be Indian state updated and click run. Now this is my state shape file. I'm going to change the name by pressing F2 and give us Rajasthan. Okay. So the first interpolation technique that I'm going to use and it is most of the uh, one of the most widely used technique is the IDW. Uh, IDW. So it means that inverse distance uh, inverse distance weighted. In the vector layer, I'm going to give uh, my point data set. And in the interpolation uh, attribute, I have to give the data for which I'm going to create the map. So presently, I'm interested in mapping May 2018 label data. I'm going to click plus and I need to give the extent. So I need to create the map of this whole Rajasthan state boundary. So in the extent, I'm going to give calculate from layer. Rajasthan and I need to give the pixel size. So uh, as I know that this um, particular layer is in the CS, uh, global coordinate system. So uh, for for an example, if I put one, so that means it will give the uh, resolution of 100 kilometer by 100 kilometer. So I suppose I'm giving 0 0.01. So that means it is going to give my uh, resolution as one kilometer by one kilometer. So for the sake of speed, uh, for this tutorial, I'm giving as uh, 0, 01. That means one kilometer by one kilometer. And I'm just going to click run. So after a few seconds, our result has terminated. This is the interpolated map. I'm just going to press F2 and will give IDW. Okay. So now you can see this uh, map with a black and white has been generated. I'm going to change the color by uh, click this uh, layer styling panel and it's going to close this and give the single band pseudo color. Now this map looks more informative that we can see that uh, the values are higher in the blue color. So these are the zones where the values are higher. Okay. But uh, in most of the cases, IDW is used for like uh, when you are using some terrain modification or for the rainfall data set. Usually for a groundwater data set, IDW is not widely used because as you can see that it gives you a bullseye effect. So that means 
uh, at certain post- portion values are suddenly high at a, uh, uh, the certain portion values are suddenly low so this will not the case uh, as uh, at the actual on the ground for an example if i open this just i will just move this downward as i can see that these are the two points i'm going to put the label on this is just for the analysis that's this particular label has 109 uh, meter and this is also 109 meter so that means the area that uh, in between two point should have a uh, value similar to that but if i just go to the idw and click uh, using this identify features i'm getting the value of 42 or 43 okay and then slowly slowly is increasing and suddenly the value become 100 so this bulls eye effect are not suitable for the groundwater exploration map so for that purpose uh, i'm going to use a thin uh, plate spline interpolation method and for that i'm going to use the saga gis tool so saga gis is a separate uh, gis based software but um, qgis provide the plugin and most of the saga gis features comes into this qgis so if you are using the latest version of qgis uh, if uh, we need to check go to the help and click on about so i am using 3.32 so uh, most of the version that are above 3.3 are not default uh, has a saga gis tool and for that purpose i'm just going to uh, install the plugin by plugins manager install plugin and search for saga so uh, this is the processing saga next gen provider i am going to install this tool and how to install this tool i have uh, uploaded a separate video for this i'm just going to cl- close this and go to the processing toolbox so i can see that a uh, saga next gen tool is already in my qgis environment and i will search for thin plate so uh, another raster creation tool is thin plate slime uh, i'm just going to click this and search for point and the attribute will be may 2018 the extent i'm going to select is from the rajasthan state boundary and cell size i'm going to go give the similar value that means 0.01 and all the things remaining will be by default and i'm just going to click run so after completing my uh, processing it throws an error and the reason of error is unknown so one of the reason of error is maybe that that this particular file that i'm giving as an input is not a shape file so i'm going to export this as a shape file first and how to do that i'll just right click over this click on export save feature as ground water data save okay so now uh, i have another point clear with the ground water data and again i'm going to use this thin spline method and this time the point data will be ground water data and attribute will be may 2018 and i'm going to give the extent as rajasthan and cell size will be similar and then hit run So as you can see that uh, this time it runs successfully maybe it is an inbuilt uh, some uh, some sort of error in the saga gis so because it uh, this particular tool may behave uh, more of oftenly so as i can see that my another raster layer has been created i'm just going to change the color from single band gray to the single band pseudo color and now i can look that the bulls eye effect which i was seeing in my previous idw cannot be seen over there okay so now this has created a smooth effect uh just like uh, this particular you can see in the picture that it is producing a smooth surface that each and every point joining will create a thin uh, and a smooth plate so uh, this is one of the best example case uh, how do we can and uh, monitor interpolate the ground water donation now our next task is to clip this particular um, raster uh, with the 
I'm just going to first of all change the name as blind method okay now I'm going to uh, clip my raster only for this particular file so for that purpose I'm going to use this processing toolbox and search for clip raster by mask layer so under the judal if we have clip raster by mask layer and input layer will be the spline and mask layer will be the Rajasthan state and everything will be as it is and click run now I can see that my raster has been clipped for my area and I'm just change the color so this is how my map will look so hope you enjoyed the video and if so then please hit the like button share this video with your colleagues and friends and subscribe to the channel thank you